Welcome back to another episode of Electric Drive Africa. This week, we take a look at Kenyan startup EcoBorder and speak to Kimosop Chepkoit, CEO and co-founder. I'm Kim Chepkoit, the founder and CEO of EcoBorder. Uh, an electric motorbike leasing and designing company based in Nairobi. What inspired you to start EcoBoda? Before we started EcoBoda, we were leasing out motorbikes to the riders in Mlolongo and with time we discovered that we needed a better product for the riders and also for the market because um, well, the Boda Boda industry is really growing, especially in East Africa, where we have over 3 million motorbikes. The motorcycle industry, or popularly known in Kenya as Boda Bodas, supports 5.2 million people directly or indirectly. That's about 10% of Kenya's population. There are 1.4 million motorcycle riders in Kenya. EcoBoda's main mission is to put a product on the market that not only saves riders money, but is also environmentally friendly. Let's hear what Kim has to say about encouraging adoption of electric two-wheelers through his breakthrough product. The electric motorbike uh, brings a, a lot of savings to the rider in terms of uh, fueling, which now we're going to use batteries, which are way cheaper compared to, to, to the fuel, to the petrol. And uh, in terms of servicing, you find that uh, a combustion engine rider needs to, to visit a technician every two weeks or so to change oil, maybe plugs, uh, not change the chain and such. So all these moving parts, they, they add uh, a lot of cost to the, to the rider. Uh, considering these are people, who, they don't make a lot of money. So at the end of the day, you find that they're almost using all their savings to repair the bike and such. So when it comes to the electric bike, we don't have those moving parts. Yes, yeah, so uh, there, are, there are no, you, you don't need frequent repairs and such. So the repairs are only done maybe in three months and these are checkups. We check the motor, uh, the fuses and everything. These ones, uh, they are like 90% cheaper than than uh, the combustion engine, servicing the combustion engine motorbikes in the same period. We are currently targeting Boda Boda riders because um, there is a challenge when it comes to the underlying infrastructure like the swap stations and such. So by targeting the Boda Boda riders who have, uh, from the way they operate here in Kenya is that they have predetermined routes and they don't they don't uh, they don't they don't travel longer so they take frequent short trips two to ten kilometers which means they won't be affected by um, the battery range anxiety which is a very common thing when it comes to immobility because you see someone will say I'm going I'm traveling at like 100 kilometers today uh, where will I get a swap station or such? So, but with time, when we build the the swap stations across Nairobi and maybe Kenya, we won't have that challenge. We will target the entire. Uh, the model that we built is uh, is built for the African market, which means it's a bit rugged. We have included. Um, the big brackets for carrying load and uh, it has a powerful motor uh, it also comes with a radio because the riders like radio so much uh, it also comes with of course because uh, it's electric it has like a sine wave controller uh, DC to DC converter and such it also has a, a battery which is swappable, it has a battery box, you can remove the battery and put another fully charged battery when the one you've been using is depleted. Uh, so the, 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 the battery is en it's enclosed in a box for safety purposes. 
kwa majina naitwa Kefa Mwendwa na nimekuwa nikiride bike for 2 years now but the new the new electric bike nime ride for 6 months is the eco border cheaper than a traditional border border of course eco border is cheaper than the traditional bike because on a pata e bike ya electric maintenance yake iko chini compared to hizo bikes zingine where by una pata story na service so this kama ya engine where by to kubadilisha oil iko boda hii na engine so hakuna kubadilisha oil na hizi bike zingine unapata ni cost sana hizo hiyo part ya service mara kubadilisha engine hizo ma oil check alafu pia iko boda ina chain so unapata it is very less to maintain okay kuzungumzia maintenance ya iko boda unapata maintenance yake ni vitu kidogo tu mostly parts like kuchange nini hiyo hiyo brake fuel and then ku pressure kuweka pressure kuongeza pressure alafu na ku make sure bike ni safi pia so unapata hizo maintenance ni kidogo lakini kukombea na zile bikes zingine maintenance unapata iko high sana first of all unafaa ku make sure bike iko na oil ya kutosha una change oil after 2 weeks una change oil alafu mara tubes nini so unapata iko boda ni iko na tubeless it comes with the tubeless Zakin two place on a pata, stores are my punk chapia, the cochin pia, the pata, a lafu niniake. Since I in a engine, so maintain his palini, cochin pia, yeah, marina exhaust at him. My pata is free from, it's friendly, environment friendly, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so sir, e bike here, eco border cost yake ya kuiran ni ni low whereby ni 66 pop per charge compared to the other bikes unapata ile kama after ya 10 to 50 ikupeleke the whole day but so to, to, to 50 minus 66 bob so una mapa ubaki na na change kama ya 150 so unapata iko boda cost yake ni kutusa wa hiyo 66 bob per charge na yuweza kupeleka the whole day pia same tuna hili ingine yenye unge kama after ya 250 pia na kupeleke the whole day so unapata yuko boda yuko kusikia kiko poa yuwa ba hiyo 66 bob would you go back to an internal combustion engine bike kulingana na hiyo vile ni mwona yuko boda ina 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 Mimi nipeleka poa sidhani kama sasa hivi unaweza convince tena kuniambia nirudi kwa zile bike za mafuta since iko boda ni ku charge tuna unasonga una charge at night ama anytime but ikiwa low una charge unaendelea na na shughuli zako so hakuna vile utaniambia tena nirudi kwa zile bike za mafuta Okay so now this is the fun part. I use Boda Bodas almost every day to get through the CBD, to get to work, to get to my friends places. So this is a special treat for me to ride the first Eco Boda Boda in the whole of Kenya. Let's do it.
Wow, that was different. The only thing that I would say is different from an internal combustion engine is less noise, no pollution from the exhaust, and it's a much smoother ride. It's not as bumpy as a regular border border. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video, and we'll see you in the next one.